quarantine, Friday, May 1st. I think it's finally safe to come out from behind the couch. I've been here about three weeks. That's why you had no quarantine math. But now, it's safe. I think it's time for a haircut. Can you help me? The three butlers who actually have hair are cutting their hair tonight. Mr. Butler's hair is going to be one fourth of the total amount of hair cut. Elijah's hair that's going to be cut is one half of what his dad's hair is. Elijah's hair that's going to be cut is going to be seven inches. How much hair is Mrs. B going to have cut? What up my quarantine math people? Back at it again. It is good to be out from behind the couch and doing math with you guys again. We came back with a vengeance with this question. Some of you are still scratching your head. You didn't even know where to begin. Some of you think you know the right answer and you're wrong. And some of you even have the right answer. But let's find out who's who. So if you are a loyal quarantine math or instruct beats follower, you know we love our side check strategy here. Our statement is going to say, Mrs. B is going to have blank inches of hair cut. Now, I have a distinct feeling that if you did not write your statement, you may have answered the wrong question. And we're going to circle back to that at the end. But remember what I just said. Now, when you go back and identify, you have quite a bit to identify here. Um, but I'm going to write it down here. And so it said that Mr. Butler was one fourth of the total. Okay, so one fourth of T equals Mr. Butler. Elijah had one half as much as his dad had cut. And we also know that Elijah was seven inches. We also know something else, okay? Now you have to make this inference, but if Mr. Butler was one fourth of the total and then Elijah was some, that means Mrs. B had to be the rest. So the rest of this is going to equal Mrs. B, all right? so. There are a couple different ways you could attack this problem. I'm going to draw what makes sense to me and what I would teach my students. If you had a different strategy, but you developed your plan and you get the answer correct, then stick with that. If you have no idea, hop on the tape diagram train and let's get moving. So what I'm going to do to develop my plan is I saw one fourth of something and one half of something. So I'm going to start with the first one it said one fourth of the total was Mr. Butler. So I'm going to draw my tape diagram here. All right. Here's all the hair that was cut. And I know that one fourth of it. Okay. So this is my total hair that's being cut. And I know one fourth of it was Mr. Butler. So I'm going to split this into fourths and I'm going to label this one as Mr. Butler. Okay. That takes care of that identify. I also know something else. I also know that whatever Mr. Butler has, half of it is what Elijah has. So if I split this into half, then whatever half of it would be, that would be what Elijah has. So what I'm going to do is, I know this one is one-fourth from Mr. Butler. I'm going to take this one-fourth, and I'm going to split it into half, and I'm going to label it as Elijah. Because Elijah had one-half as much as Mr. Butler cut. Now, here's the thing about fractions. Fractions have to be equal groups. So if we're going to split this fourth into half, we also need to split all the other fourths into halves as well. And now I have a total of eight equal groups. So Mr. Butler was two eighths of the total and Elijah was one eighth of the total. And then we know because we made an inference, there was three people getting their hair cut and they told us how much two of them were, the rest of them have to be Mrs. B. So I'm gonna put an M for Mrs. And this is where my question mark is. My question mark is for how much Mrs. Butler got cut, not the total. So I've taken care of that and I've taken care of that information. I've developed those ideas. Now I have one other thing. It said Elijah was seven inches. So this piece right here is going to be seven inches. And again, if we use our fraction knowledge and our understanding of fractions, fractions are equal groups. So this one eighth is seven. That means all the other ones also have to be seven. And then I'm going to double check it that it makes sense. If Mr. Butler had 14 and Elijah had half of what Mr. Butler had cut, half of 14 is seven. So that makes sense. Now 
My question is not how much total hair was cut. Some of you probably multiplied seven times eight and you got 56 and you said that was your answer because you didn't write a statement. I'm not looking for the total amount of hair. I'm looking for how much Mrs. Butler got cut. So if Mr. Butler was two eighths and Elijah was one eighth, that leaves us with five eighths left for Mrs. Butler. And if each of those eights is worth seven, seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, Mrs. B is going to have 35 inches of hair cut. So then that was our develop our plan. We did our equation and we solved it, okay? Really what this question comes down to is not how hard the math is because half of 14 being seven is not hard, right? Doing five times seven is not hard. The math is easy, but it's understanding what's happening that's difficult. That's why we really believe in writing a statement identifying and developing our plan with tape diagrams when possible. We'd love to have you join us in that journey with us. You can check out our other quarantine math questions to see more examples of tape diagrams and we even have a couple lessons on those we'd love for you to check out. Thank you so much for checking us out today. We really appreciate it. Please tune in next Friday. We're doing this once a week um, and we will have another challenging question for you guys to work through. And as always, stay safe, do math, I'm out.